An African man from Zimbabwe has made shockwaves throughout the world. That's because he has invented an electric car that does not need charging or fuel to work. Even though the car itself uses energy, it gets it directly from the radiation in the atmosphere. And these radiations are infinite. In other words, all you need is to buy this electric car and drive it forever, with zero fuel cost forever. After this news spread, people began to raise doubts about how a car could work without the need for charging or fuel. Since this invention threatens the nearly $6 trillion fossil fuel and $3 trillion automobile industry, efforts to discredit this invention were started. That's when the man himself came before the world and explained everything. So, what did Maxwell Chikumbozo, the man behind the self-powered electric car, say about the technology used that has shocked everyone? In this video, let's find out. The major and groundbreaking element behind Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered electric vehicle is the microsonic energy device, an invention that has the potential to revolutionize how energy is generated and used. Unlike conventional electric vehicles that require charging through power grids or fuel-based hybrid systems, Chikumbuzo's self-powered electric car operates independently by extracting energy from radio frequencies present in the atmosphere. This technology, which bypasses the need for external power sources, offers a limitless supply of electricity by harnessing infinite electromagnetic waves, amplifying them, and converting them into usable energy. However, to understand how this self-powered vehicle works, one must first grasp the fundamental concept of radio frequency energy harvesting. Radio frequencies are forms of electromagnetic radiation that exist naturally in the atmosphere radiated from the sun, stars, black holes, and other galaxies. They are also artificially generated through technologies such as radio communications, television broadcasts, satellite signals, and Wi-Fi networks. Scientists have long been aware that these frequencies carry energy, and in theory, they can be captured and converted into electrical power. However, up until now, energy conversion from radio waves has been restricted to small-scale applications, such as low-power sensors, RFID chips, and wireless charging pads. The limitation has always been in scaling up the process to generate enough electricity to power high-energy devices like electric motors. This is where Chikumbuzo's microsonic energy device comes into play. His technology does not merely capture radio frequencies, it amplifies and converts them into direct, high-output energy creating a continuous and self-sustaining power source for an electric vehicle. The key to this process lies in three main components, the antenna system, the conversion unit, and the amplification process. First, the vehicle is fitted with an advanced antenna array designed to capture a broad spectrum of radio frequencies from natural and artificial sources. These frequencies, which are abundant and constant in the atmosphere, act as an invisible energy field that can be tapped into at any moment. Once these waves are captured, they are directed into the microsonic energy device, which acts as a signal processor and electrical converter. This is where the core innovation takes place. Through a proprietary algorithm, the device extracts and converts radio waves into direct electrical current, which is then used to drive the vehicle's electric motor. Unlike conventional power storage methods, such as lithium-ion batteries, the microsonic energy device does not store limited energy in battery cells. Instead, it generates electricity in real time, ensuring a constant flow of power as long as radio frequencies are present. What makes this invention even more extraordinary is its energy amplification process. Traditional radio frequency energy harvesting technologies produce only a minor amount of electricity. But Chikumbuzo's system has overcome this limitation by significantly boosting the captured energy output. This amplification process increases the voltage and current to levels that can sustain the high power demands of an electric motor, making it feasible for large-scale applications. This is why his self-powered electric car does not experience energy depletion. Rather, it creates its own energy on the move. Maxwell revealed that since the microsonic energy device continuously generates electricity, the vehicle is not only self-sustaining, but also capable of acting as a mobile power hub. 
Unlike traditional electric vehicles that consume power from a charging grid, Chikumbutso's invention can actually supply power externally. This means that the vehicle can be used to power homes, charge electronic devices, and provide electricity to entire communities. In Africa, where many rural regions still lack access to reliable electricity, this technology has the potential to transform energy accessibility. The ability of this vehicle to generate and distribute power in remote or off-grid areas could be a game changer, eliminating reliance on centralized electricity grids and offering autonomous, renewable energy wherever it is needed. This self-powered electric car could also play a crucial role in disaster relief efforts. In regions affected by natural disasters, where power lines and infrastructure are often destroyed, the vehicle could function as a mobile generator, providing essential electricity for hospitals, emergency shelters, and communication systems. Likewise, military and government operations in remote areas could benefit from vehicles that do not require external fuel or electricity, making logistics and deployment far more efficient. However, despite its remarkable potential, Chikumbutso's invention has faced strong skepticism and resistance from the scientific and industrial communities. The oil, automotive, and energy industries have built trillion-dollar business models around fossil fuels, battery production, and centralized power grids. A vehicle that eliminates the need for fuel, charging stations, and costly energy storage infrastructure represents an existential threat to these industries. This is why many believe that there are active efforts to suppress and discredit Chikumbutso's technology, much like how Nikola Tesla's work on free energy transmission was allegedly stifled by corporate and governmental interests in the early 20th century. Another major reason for the skepticism is that the microsonic energy device appears to contradict the second law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or amplified beyond its initial input without a loss. Maxwell confessed this himself, but said that his device works on a different principle. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Critics argue that for the car to run indefinitely without needing an external energy source, it must be violating fundamental laws of physics. However, Chikumbutso and his team claim to have developed new scientific principles that challenge conventional thermodynamics, suggesting that their findings introduce a new model for energy generation. Independent experts from the United States have reportedly conducted tests and validated the feasibility of the technology, though much of this research remains outside mainstream scientific discourse. The moment Maxwell Chikumbutso's invention was independently tested and validated, the entire narrative around his work changed. Following this validation, Maxwell's work gained worldwide attention. He was featured in documentaries and interviews where his technology was publicly demonstrated, showing the world undeniable proof that his invention was not just theoretical, but fully functional. However, with this recognition came an immediate and powerful backlash. No longer could the industries that control global energy markets ignore him. Instead, they had to take action to suppress, discredit, or eliminate him before his technology could disrupt their trillion-dollar empires. Maxwell himself revealed that he faced various assassination attempts, but fortunately, he was saved. He was poisoned twice and brought to hospital in critical condition. The dangers Maxwell now faces are not new. History is filled with cases of inventors and scientists who developed revolutionary technologies, only to be silenced when their discoveries threatened major industries. Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest scientific minds in history, tried to introduce wireless, free energy to the world. His funding was cut, his lab was burned down, and he died in obscurity, his invention stolen and buried. Stanley Meyer, who created a water-powered car, mysteriously died after a meeting with investors who wanted to buy his technology. Many believe he was poisoned. Dr. Sebi, a natural health expert whose discoveries challenged the pharmaceutical industry, was arrested and died under suspicious circumstances in custody. Now Maxwell Chikumbutso is facing the same fate. His invention is a direct threat to some of the most powerful industries in the world. 
the fossil fuel sector, the global automobile industry, and Western energy corporations stand to lose trillions of dollars if his technology reaches mass production. They will not sit idly by while he dismantles their business model. Their tactics are predictable. They have used them before. First, they will attempt to discredit him, pushing fake news, false scientific reports, and claims that his technology is impossible according to mainstream physics. If that fails, they will try to lure him to Western countries under the guise of research funding and high-tech labs. Once he arrives, they will extract his knowledge, patent his work under their own corporations, and then eliminate him. Finally, if they gain control over his invention, they will ensure that it is never released to the public. His name will disappear and his technology will be buried, just as Tesla's work was. This is why Maxwell Chikambutso must never accept invitations from Western governments or corporations. If he leaves Zimbabwe and steps into their territory, he may never return. He must remain in Africa, where he has a chance to develop his technology free from corporate interference. The survival of his work depends on a well-thought-out strategy to protect him and ensure that his self-powered electric vehicle reaches the masses. The first step in safeguarding Maxwell is ensuring that he never seeks or accepts funding from Western sources. The West has perfected the art of using financial incentives as a trap. They will offer him research grants, advanced laboratories, and security only to steal his ideas and render him disposable. Africa must be his stronghold. He must only collaborate with African or non-Western allies who genuinely support his vision. Maxwell needs government-level protection. Zimbabwe and other African nations must protect him like a national treasure. Leaders such as Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso, who has been vocal about rejecting Western influence, should offer him military-grade security, ensuring that he cannot be kidnapped or assassinated. His labs, factories, and research centers must be placed under surveillance to prevent sabotage or infiltration. Furthermore, the mass production of his technology must happen in Africa. If the West gains control over his self-powered car, they will suppress it, keeping it locked away so that it never reaches the public. The only way to prevent this is by investing in local production. African nations should unite to fund the manufacturing of Maxwell's vehicles, ensuring that knowledge of the technology remains in African hands. The cars must be distributed widely and quickly, because once they are on the roads, they become impossible to suppress. Equally important is international awareness and media exposure. The more people know about Maxwell Chikambuzo and his invention, the harder it becomes to erase him. If he suddenly disappears or is harmed, the public must be ready to demand answers. African media, influencers, and leaders must continuously amplify his story, ensuring that he is never silenced like other inventors before him. The public must constantly ask, where is Maxwell? Is he safe? Is his technology being made available to the people? His visibility is his protection, because when the world is watching, his enemies cannot move as easily. If Maxwell Chikumbutso survives and his technology is successfully deployed, it will trigger a global energy revolution. Dependence on oil and fossil fuels will become a thing of the past. The monopoly of Western energy corporations will collapse and the balance of power will shift. Instead of always following, Africa will finally lead the world in cutting edge energy solutions. Entire cities, remote villages, and even nations could be powered without relying on centralized power grids. Electricity would be free, sustainable, and unlimited, giving people the ability to travel and live independently of the global energy market. But if Maxwell is captured, silenced, or killed, this technology will disappear, just as free energy did in Tesla's time. This is why protecting him is not just about one man, it is about the future of humanity. If Africa stands together and shields him from corporate predators, it will mark the beginning of a new era, one where energy is no longer controlled by an elite few, but is freely available to all. What do you think? Will Maxwell be portrayed as someone who is lying to the world, 
just as was done with geniuses like Nikola Tesla? Isn't it true that he should be protected because he threatens multi-trillion dollar industries and can be attacked? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on whether you would like to buy a Tesla car or Maxwell's EV. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.